Hi, I'm Mike Santora, Associate Editor for Design World Magazine, and today I'm here at Prime Metals Technologies with John Bakker to talk a little bit about bearing damage. John, thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for being here. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a great example of peeling. This is a bearing roller, not a tapered roller bearing, but this could happen any type of bearing. Basically, what this is, is you get peeling from metal to metal contact. Uh, so maybe, you know, you got a heavy bearing like this one, and it's coming into its load zone really quickly. Sometimes you can get some, a cut of the lubrication, and you get metal to metal contact. Or maybe you don't have adequate grease or oil for your application. So how would engineers help prevent peeling from happening in their bearings? Maybe, maybe use a different lubrication, you know, for the application. This is a typical version of uh, staining or etching that you might see in a, a bearing. These are bearing rollers, of course, out of your bearing. Now basically, if you see this type of damage to your rollers, you've got moisture coming into your bearing, you got water coming into there, it's causing this marking. Now, if this is, is bad enough, it'll get a thing called etching, which you can feel, you know, that, that causes some indentation of mm -hmm. sorts. So. Mm -hmm. And how will that affect bearing performance and bearing life? Well, if you don't clean this up periodically, uh, repair it, take it out for maintenance. This can turn into a fatigue small or even worse. What type of damage do we have here? Uh, this is a typical uh, example of uh, a flat spotting. Basically, if you could see the line that goes across the rolling element here, cylindrical, spherical, happen taper roll rings, of course. Basically, what happens here is maybe your grease is too thick and your rollers and your, you know, your bearing is rotating and your rollers come back into its load zone. And instead of rolling like they should, they slide. So they end up with a marking on there. And how does this affect bearing performance and then ultimately bearing life? Ultimately, a bearing that has flat spots on it doesn't, doesn't run real good. It, it'll probably start to get noisy, and then probably break down. Mm -hmm. And what are some best practices just to help prevent this from happening? Maybe a, a review of uh, what kind of grease you're using, you know, that's not too tacky or sticky or, or ideal for its application. Sure. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time, John. Can you tell everybody where they can find out more about Prime Metals Technologies? Sure, uh, primemetals.com. And for more videos like this, go to designworldonline.com.